Hello there, welcome to MNB World Talk Show's brand new episode. Today we have invited a beautiful lady who has dedicated over 10 years of her life for financial sector. Then all of a sudden she has turned into sports. Well, this beautiful lady is Miss Oyung Irtenbat. She is a triathlon coach and founder of Iron Man Club of Mongolia. Thank you for having me here. It mm -hmm. was my pleasure. So let's just get into our questions. My first question is about triathlon. Why, I mean, how did someone who has worked in financial sector for so many years turned into sports, especially triathlon? How did you, did you meet with triathlon in the first place? Mm, yeah, actually, I had a background of uh, sports since I was in a young age, uh -huh. and I was a uh, competitive swimmer. Uh, in between 1999 and uh, 2008. And oh. uh, after graduation of my university, I uh, became busy with the work mm -hmm. and the finance sector. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but I still remain the sport. A few years later, I found out, you know, it's, mm -hmm. I started, got bored about this, just the swimming. Only and, swimming was yes, boring to you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, um, and um, I invited by in the modern pentathlon, which consists of five disciplines, uh, swimming, running, shooting, fencing, and horse riding. And okay. so I started um, training uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I competed in the uh, for six Asian beach games in uh, Thailand. And mm -hmm. afterwards, I invited to the national um, triathlon championship in the following summer by my friend. In, and in Mongolia? In Mongolia. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I really enjoyed that uh, the scenario and uh, mm -hmm. this discipline. It's, uh, of course, less discipline than modern pentathlon. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, in 2015, Mm -hmm. I participate in a race, and so mm -hmm. this is how my triathlon journey started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you love the most about triathlon? Mm, it's actually the challenge of myself. Mm -hmm. uh, the human is unlimited, you know, mm -hmm. and um, the way I'm seeing my uh, body, how my body works, how my uh, brain mentality works for preparing mm -hmm. to do this uh, busy life and to be a mom and mm -hmm. uh, to do training. And so mm -hmm. and I, every after race, so every after training, mm -hmm. I feel proud of myself. So this mm -hmm. is the, actually the best you feel that confidence uh, yes. overcoming all those challenges within yourself, right? Yes. I'm sure there are people who don't know what the triathlon sport is because it is not very common in Mongolia, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So can you tell very briefly like, mm -hmm. what you have to do in triathlon competition? Mm -hmm. Uh, triathlon is consists of uh, three disciplines, mm -hmm. swimming, running, uh, cycling and running. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, it's an Olympic uh, sport, and um, mm, yeah. So which one is the first? Swimming. So you, first you have to swim. Yes. And How long the distance? Uh, it uh, depends on the uh, on the competition. Competition, uh -huh. but it's Olympic distance is one point five kilometer. One point five kilometers. Yes. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you have to cycle. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. uh, there is an area called transition area, so uh -huh. we um, come up from the um, water, from the water. Uh -huh, and uh, uh, take the, all the gadgets, goggles, mm -hmm. uh, take off the goggles mm -hmm. and then put the, all the cycling shoes cycling, and everything cycling uh -huh, stuff, and uh -huh. take the bike from mm -hmm. the transition to, uh, and then mount on the uh, bicycle to cycle. Okay, uh -huh. so how long? It's for, for 40 kilometer. 40 kilometers? Yes. <laughs> right after swimming, 1.5 kilometers. Okay, then what's going to happen? <laughs> then again, we come back to the, our transition area again. Okay. The, you have to come back yes, to the we transition area. Okay. Yes, and then park our um, bicycle uh -huh. and uh, put all the um, cycling gears and okay. uh, wear uh, the uh, running gears, you know, shoes uh -huh. and everything. Uh -huh. And then uh, we have to run um, 10 kilometers. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Wow, that's too much. I mean, <laughs> for me, I mean, it sounds crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't, I don't think I can even swim 500 meters. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, anyways, it, it is a tough sport. It, it, it sounds tough sport. So, um, as a tradition, we have to show to our audience that uh, your CV and photos for introduction, and uh, after that, let's get back, shall we? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is Miss Oyen Lidenbutt on papers and photos. Very interesting. So my next question is about the Unity Duathlon Marathon that you have been organizing since 2018. Mm -hmm. So what's the sport about? It seems like about two sports because there's a duathlon, mm -hmm. dua, right? Yeah. So uh, what's the development in Mongolia? It sounds pretty new to Mongolia. Yes, um, I would like to explain about more about this uh, uh, race. And our club's name is the Ironman Mongolia. Yes. Uh, and uh, we are registered in the first uh, cl uh, triathlon club in Mongolia. First one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Registered. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, our goal is to uh, set up a um, triathlon club. And also we organize uh, multi-sport events such mm -hmm. as uh, duathlon races mm -hmm. and uh, indoor triathlon races. But uh, unfortunately, up until today, we couldn't um, uh, organize any indoor um, triathlon event. Mm -hmm. But do we, we have uh, the space, the indoor space in Mongolia? Uh, not at the moment. Not at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, for multi-sport. In, in order to develop the multi-sport, the duathlon is actually um, very suitable in our country. Mm -hmm. um, we, it's, we can do the outdoor uh, races, mm -hmm. so it's a run, cycle, run. Ah. Uh -huh. So uh, nowadays everybody uh, likes to cycle, mm -hmm. everybody likes to participate in the marathons, and so it's easy to mm -hmm. uh, challenge themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So challenge and promote, right? It yes. sounds like we could do it in the national park, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many people participated in 2018 and then how many people participated in 2019? The num did the number raise? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the uh, first year, which was in 2018, we had uh, 150 participants, wow. uh, which okay. was organized on, the new, uh, on September, uh, No Cars Day. Uh, ah, uh, yes, okay. Uh, and uh, uh, in 2019, we organized two places. One is in the rural, rural place in Arhanga uh, M, uh, province, in, okay. and we had uh, 98 participants. Uh, because it was in Arhanga, uh, yes. uh, the f uh, farther from uh, the urban area. Yes, okay. and uh, another one is in. Uh, uh, next to, in front of the Dunjungaro shopping mall center, mm -hmm. the, the Hunu Street, mm -hmm. all the way through the railway um, road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had um, almost 200 participants oh, wow. in this September. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, but uh, we this year we I mean the, this September we expected to have uh, two hundred fifty participants, mm -hmm. um, but on that day many uh, cycling events, marathon events were, were happening at the same time. So, uh -huh. mm -hmm. so this year when will it happen? Um, In two thousand twenty. Uh, again, we're gonna do two places. Mm -hmm. uh, one will be maybe in the Nalakh. Mm -hmm. uh, and one in, again in the Ulaanbaatar city. Mm -hmm. So we are um, still in the process of um, mm -hmm. managing Prepar this event. Preparation. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just curious, how many professional triathlon athletes in Mongolia? Yeah, that's actually a good okay. question. Uh -huh. And um, Around. Uh, in 2015, when I uh, participate my first triathlon mm -hmm. uh, event, it has a total of 30 participants. 
30. 30. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of them were from uh, swimming clubs ah. and the remaining from uh, cycling or running mm -hmm. clubs. So then nowadays uh, uh, we have about uh, 20 to 30 athlete, youth athletes, professional uh, triathletes, I mean, I, I would say. Triathletes, that's yes. how you call it. Okay. The, yeah. Youth athletes. Youth athletes, mm. but how about the older guys? <laughs> yeah, like me. <laughs> <laughs> Can yeah. I be one <laughs> <Yeah>. one day? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So mm. in uh, our generation mm. is now become old, and uh, mm. most of them become a coach. A coach. coach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there are a brand new generation of triathletes. Yes. Coming. Yes. So we have around 20 to 30 yes. athletes. Mm -hmm. yes. So you're a coach yes. at Ironman Club, Club Mongolia. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like coaching? I mean, what's the most challenging aspect of coaching people? Mm, yes, it's uh, being coach is actually the tough sometimes itself. Okay. Because, you know, we have to understand uh, the athlete. It's mm -hmm. not about the volume of the training. It's not about the planning uh, or setting up the nice training mm -hmm. schedule mm -hmm. or goals, plan. Uh -huh. plan, everything. But we have to remember that it's a human. We are uh, human, you know. Mm -hmm. um, everyone has a different background, different mm -hmm. feelings, mm -hmm. different uh, body um, regiment, mm -hmm. you know. So different lifestyle. A different lifestyle. Mm. So we have to understand. We have to more mm -hmm. talk about um, uh, mm -hmm. about how they are feeling after the training or before they uh, start the training. Mm -hmm. This is the more most important thing, I would mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. So, for example, judo is very male dominated. Mm -hmm. Is triathlon male dominated sports all around the globe? Uh, yeah, I think um, I would say that all sport is uh, male dominated um, uh, previously, mm -hmm. but previously. Uh, yeah, previously, mm -hmm. but now the International Olympic Committee, international sport, mm -hmm. uh, international all the federations mm -hmm. are more focusing about the gender discussion, mm -hmm. and so uh, bring more policies to uh, encourage, motivate uh, all the women are all around mm -hmm. the world, and. Um, uh, and uh, and the triathlon, you know, um, even uh, our um, international triathlon in the Asian Confederation, they are very much uh, supportive about uh, recognition of the women's women mm -hmm. women's uh, within the triathlon. Sport. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we, as you know, we have uh, visited your club mm -hmm. <laughs> while you are coaching and doing your thing. So let's uh, show to our audience, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very intense, very intense. Well, uh, let's put the triathlon on the side for a bit. What kind of other hobbies do you have? The triathlon is your professional field right now. Yeah. So what kind of other hobbies do you have? Mm. Unfortunately, I can't say what other hobbies that 
besides uh, any kind of activities, you know. Okay, I like what kind that. of activities? Just um, tell us. I like to do hiking. Hiking, uh, okay. Dancing. Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as you are moving your body, sweating, yes. you're feeling good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, in contrast, mm -hmm. we have uh, come to know that you do water meditation. It's actually called aqua floating therapy. Aqua floating, floating therapy. therapy yeah. But it's kind of meditation. Yes. Okay, tell us about it. Like, how do you do meditation underwater? Mm -hmm. um, uh, as I mentioned about my fatigue, mm -hmm. I I had uh, less recovery time. Mm -hmm. And but uh, besides, uh, besides being a mom. I don't have enough time to sleep or enough time to recover mm -hmm. that time. And so I need to figure out that how I'm going to increase my recovery time with the uh, limited time. Okay. And, um, and uh, my friend... In a short amount of time, right? Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, my friend suggested me to do oh, in the meditation mm -hmm. or maybe in the yoga class, okay. but, uh, which was very boring to me. Yoga class was born uh -huh, to you, huh? Uh -huh. And, um, okay. and also just the, the normal meditation class mm -hmm. was like a singing or dancing. That was also not my type. And okay. then, then I found out that mm -hmm. there is the aqua, aqua flow therapy, which mm -hmm. is aqua is uh, uh, water. Water, yes. Yeah. So I like to be in the swimming pool. So, mm -hmm. you know, as long as I can be there, mm -hmm. that, that's something interesting and so it's I something decided, almost part of you because yes. ever since the child when yes. you were a child yes uh -huh. and uh, i decided to try that um, uh, therapy and mm -hmm. which was just over expected you know uh, it's above my expectation really yes mm -hmm. How? and, and um, you are familiar with water and then mm -hmm. something new coming in and then it is over your expectation. I mean, yeah, how this is actually a technique of uh, uh, inhaling and exhaling your breath. Mm -hmm. uh, once you manage and that your breath, it's kind of easy. So it uh, feels like anti-gravity. So you feel like in the, in the space. <laughs> wow, without gravity? <laughs> yes, without, really? yeah, without the gravity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, once you do like in the 15 to 30 minutes of this um, uh, meditation, you felt like uh, four to eight hours of sleep, you know, it's uh, Really? Yes. Four to eight hours of sleep? Yes. Equals, equals 30 minutes of aqua floating therapy. therapy. Yes. Okay, like what do you concentrate to? Nothing. Or focus? Nothing? Yeah. Do you sweat? You wouldn't know because you're in the water. Yes, I don't know. Well, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds interesting. Let's show like what really happens during the aqua therapy, aqua floating therapy session, right? Yes. So let's take a look at uh, what happens. <laughs> Uh, venue 
and uh, during this winter time, when it's in the cold outside, we normally do indoor training mostly, and uh, uh, we combine swimming and running, uh, or swimming and cycling stations in this area. And um, when it's in um, uh, summertime, then we do outdoor trainings in the uh, national stadium or uh, just outside uh, on the road. And, um, and, and our club members are basically uh, uh, aged between age from uh, 7 to 50 years old. So they are all from different backgrounds and the different interests and different ability of the, the training. Uh, and and um, most of them very dedicated to uh, to in all in, in every way and uh, uh, last year we participated in the Asian Championship in the Asian Cup and uh, this year we supposed to go to, to and, uh, Thailand for uh, participate in Asian Ch uh, Cup but during this uh, quarantine time we cancelled this um, race but we are now uh, looking forward to participate in Asian, Asian Championship in April 2020 in Japan. So being coach for this uh, action members are uh, very fantastic and then I, I don't usually uh, deliver the le lesson. I also uh, learning from them how to uh, what is uh, new in in their generation and so I'm motivated to work with the kids and um, this is the my <laughs> workplace. Wow, very interesting. I would love to try one day. Can I? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. You so. are invited already. I'm invited. <laughs> yes. well, thank you. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put my goggles in here and see things. Okay. Uh, well, uh, talking about uh, family, mm -hmm. you are a mother of three living with your husband. Mother of three. But I mean, it's very hard to tell that you have three children. <laughs> it's a it's a compliment. So, Thank you. <laughs> so, how do you manage uh, the family life and your work? Yeah, um, I think um, I had a discipline uh, from the sport, mm -hmm. so I have to manage everything since ever from my childhood, you know, and um, and when I uh, work in the PwC audit firm, mm -hmm. it uh, gives me, you know. Uh, the way I plan mm -hmm. work and um, uh, basically I started to manage work-life balance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, now you're applying that to <laughs> to today's life huh? yes mm -hmm. and even in the in my plan I include all my you know uh, family activities mm -hmm. and kids activities personal uh, personal mm -hmm. activities and also all around the travels uh, with my triathletes mm -hmm. and also uh, the events and everything. So how far-fetched is your plan? <laughs> Do you plan monthly? Do you plan yearly? <laughs> I mean, uh, how does it work? Uh, when I am become in the coach, mm -hmm. I um, make a plan as an uh, Olympic uh, period, four years. 
four years. Yes, and eight years and twelve years. So okay, mm. now if I look at your plan, you have uh, your life planned for four years. Yes. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a discipline. <laughs> that's a real discipline. Okay, what's the most challenging aspect of raising kids, raising children, as a mother? I think every mother has a struggle with this question: whether mm -hmm. they are doing good enough job. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And um, how do you rate uh, yourself? <laughs> uh, when I become the coach, uh -huh. I um, had to. Uh, I have to uh, work with the teenagers. Most uh -huh. of them, my athletes are between aged between nine to uh, seventeen. Nine to seven. Uh -huh. okay. But my older daughter is eight, mm -hmm. uh, and I know how I have the idea about uh, you know, okay, at the age of nine or at the age of ten, people will, uh, you know, kids will and ask me about this, 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 uh -huh. Uh -huh. and so I am basically preparing myself uh -huh. uh, to raising my kids, uh -huh. and also uh, I trying to support my kids uh -huh. to understand what they really want to do in the future. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to just push them to try triathlon or I don't want to push to, uh -huh. uh, them to study, like, you uh -huh. know, uh -huh. to get the A. Uh -huh. No, just uh, I would like to uh, raise them, uh -huh. to give them opportunity to um, be responsible for the, um, every solutions. That for their they own made, life, yeah, right? for their mm -hmm. own life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I take them uh, to my um, uh, training center mm -hmm. to observe the other kids mm -hmm. how they challenge themselves. Besides mm -hmm. uh, uh, study and and other family uh, stuffs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, very interesting. So you are preparing for the uh, for the uh, future motherhood. <laughs> practice while you are coaching, right? Yes. Very smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tricky. Well, my last question, time is ticking. It's about future. So what kind of future do you want for Mongolia in 10 years and also for yourself? Healthy Mongolian, obviously. Okay. Okay. And in order to be healthy, mm -hmm. uh, both mentally and physically, I would say, okay. and uh, uh, now everybody goes to the gym mm. uh, compared to the five past five yes. years, mm -hmm. uh, which is good result. Mm -hmm. But now they need to more focus on the quality of time, quality of health, and quality of you know the so quality is a key measurement of the life uh -huh, to become uh -huh, the happy. Uh -huh. You know, so mm -hmm. basically, the life quality needs to be developed, not yes. only just the surface, yes. not only the exercise, no, yes. but really deep down quality. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> uh, how about yourself? Yeah. What's mm. your goal for uh, in 10 years? Mm, yes, as I said to you, that I mm -hmm. had a four uh, years of plan, and mm -hmm. so I would like to develop, um, keep developing mm -hmm. this uh, triathlon mm -hmm. in Mongolia, and also I would like to contribute my experience uh, to the Asia and um, develop an Asian to the um, world class athletes uh -huh. mm -hmm. from Mongolia. From Mongolia. Wow, great. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I wish good luck with your dreams and goals mm -hmm. to and the uh, dreams come true right yes as long as you are working towards it so i'm sure it'll happen very soon yeah and uh, i would like to say this uh, my favorite uh, uh, aphorism is mm -hmm. love what you do mm -hmm. do what you love love what you do do what you love it's very mm -hmm. simple but yes big but meaningful meaning. Mm -hmm. Meaningful. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I Thank wish you, you good health and good luck. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, this has been Miss Oyung Irtenbat. She's a triathlon coach and founder of Ironman Club Mongolia. I hope you loved our conversation. 
We will see you with our next episode next week. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.